Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I am here at Big Horn Boots in Billings, Montana. This is such an awesome store and I've had requests from some of you guys to take a look at a Georgia boot. So I found one here at Big Horn and that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. All right, guys, so I've had requests from some of you to do a Georgia boot, and I found this soft toe one here on the shelves, and they got so many cool boots here, guys. Uh, if you are ever making your way through Billings, you gotta stop here. The, the people are nice, uh, they're so friendly, they got some awesome boots here that you're not gonna find in those big franchise stores. So I'm pumped to be here and taking a look at this Georgia boot. It is style number G00240, and it looks like it has some great features. So let's break down each and every one. That's right, it's time for the rundown. This Georgia boot is a part of the Carbotech line and it features full grain leather on the foot and the shaft. This Georgia boot also has a nice round toe. I'm digging this toe shape. It is a little bit wider, so you should still have enough room in here, um, but not as much as you would with one of the wider square work boots. It stands at 12 inches tall and it actually features a zipper in the back so you can get it on a little bit easier if you have some larger calves or if you just wear really thick socks for the winter time. Back here they have what is called a counter lock. This counter lock is a hard synthetic uh, plastic of some sort and they're marketing it as creating a more secure fit. Uh, we'll see about that. I've never had a problem with just a regular leather counter, so I'm interested to see what this feels like. We also have a one inch Stockman style heel here with a EVA midsole, so you do have some cushion at this heel where the gray parts are and along the outsole as well. Speaking of the outsole, it is a rubber outsole all the way through and Underneath here in the middle, you also have a fiberglass shank. On the inside, it is mesh lined and it feels a little bit insulated as well. I'm not a huge fan of the mesh lining because it tends to tear um, much more quickly than what leather lining will. And for an insole, we have a poly urethane foam insole with a cloth lining top and it does have some perforations at around the ball of the foot for some breathability. It looks like a pretty nice insole and I'm excited to try this boot on. It comes in at $159 here at Bighorn Boots and this Georgia boot is also made in China. Now it's time to try this boot on and see how it looks and feels. All right, guys, I have the Georgia boot on right now with that counter lock. And to put on the boots, I put them on one with the zipper and then one without it. So I just pulled the zipper all the way up and then put the boot on. And uh, it really kind of felt like it went on normal for me, but I'm a skinny dude with some smaller calves. So it might not make a difference really if you have a similar body shape, but it's definitely nice to have that zipper as an option if you need it, but it's not completely necessary in my opinion. The counter lock, I'm not really seeing a difference between what a normal counter feels like. Uh, you're supposed to have some heel slip when you wear a Western or a slip on boot. It's just in the engineering of the boot. So, so many people don't think that a boot fits because they get a lot of heel slip, but that's completely necessary for a correct fit. And uh, I feel like this might confuse people because they might buy too small of a boot. So I'm a little concerned at the marketing about that, but that said, I am getting some heel slip still. So this is still fitting like a Western boot should, even with that counter lock and the zip at the back. It kind of feels like 
that counter lock was just an excuse for them to use a synthetic back there, to be honest. Which is okay depending on what you're looking for because it does keep the price point down. The insole feels nice. Um, it feels like a normal foam insole. I wouldn't really say that it's anything to write home about or to get really, really excited about. It's comfortable right away. Here's the POV of the boot. Definitely work boot style there. Um, you do have that EVA midsole as a little bit of a rebound if that's what you were looking for. So this is work boot all the way. So the Georgia boot definitely does cut some corners in my opinion, but that's something that you have to expect with a price tag of $159. Um, this counter lock back here um, might or might not be a little bit of a marketing tactic. Uh, I feel like using plastic back here or some sort of synthetic is just not necessary um, for a good boot. I think that leather has always held up really well. In fact, they're still using leather around the sides of the counter, but just not the back of the counter itself. Uh, the zipper can definitely be of good use if you need it for your calf size or if you're wearing thicker socks, uh, but the mesh lining is always something that I'm a little concerned about. Um, mesh is, it tends to tear a lot faster than what you would get with a leather lining. Um, but that's part of the savings that you get with a $159 boot that's made in China. So you get, there's gives and takes with everything guys. Boots cost what they do for a reason. So when you get a $150 boot, it's gonna cut some corners so that different people in different places in their lives can afford them. So this is an affordable boot that uh, it looks great. It just has some features in it that I feel um, might not be as long lasting as some better higher tier work boots. Uh, that's just something to know. I'm not judging anybody who chooses to go with this boot in a bad way. Um, it's just something that you should know before you go into it um, because then you shouldn't get mad when the mesh rips or tears or anything because it's bound to happen sooner or later. Um, let me know what you guys think of this Georgia boot down in the comments. Thank you for requesting this. I know several of you have requested me do a video on a Western style Georgia work boot and uh, I've been on the road here. I finally found one here at Bighorn Boots and it's awesome. This store is so cool. They do ship if you're interested in buying a pair of Georgia boots or any of the other awesome brands that they have here. They have Justin, they have Hondo, they have Twisted X, they have Nakona. Give them a call and see what they have in your size. Here's the number. They ship all across the US and uh, it's a great store to visit if you are in Billings, Montana as well. Thank you so much for watching today. If you liked this content, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me continue this going and visiting small, great stores like Bighorn. I'll see you guys around. Peace. If you're looking for some cheap work boots, these Carbo Techs fit the bill. But don't expect them to last as long as some others will. No, no. Thanks so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other video that I did up here at Bighorn Boots. It's a pair of Hondo 2012s. Or I've got a music video down here that I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.